Okay, this is the final mod that I did on this airplane. I just lost my pointer. What did I do with it? Here it is. This is going to be circumstantial. This is, depends on your air, not your airplane so much as your battery. Depending on the battery you put in. My batteries, the way they're, they're set up, the battery size fits the cutout perfectly. But because of the way the power wires come off, they kind of stick out a little bit. They take up a little space. Well, that space is, is wider than these fingers are. The battery fits in there perfectly, but the problem is those, those wires will actually get caught up on these fingers. So what I ended up doing is, depending on where your battery sits, my battery slides all the way back here, so the wires are over here where this finger is. So that's the finger I actually trimmed out a little bit. As you can tell, it sets in a little bit further than these two. I trimmed it out on both sides, depending on how I rotate the battery. So that when the battery sits down in there, it ends about here and the wire has room to sit down behind that finger. I'll show you how that works here. This is doing all this with one hand. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, these wires now can sit down behind that finger. With that finger not trimmed back, the wires are in the way and, I, and it really is difficult to get in there. I take this thing back out to show you the next thing. Now, the well isn't deep enough to be able to put a Velcro strip down here and a Velcro strip on your battery. You can do that, but it's going to lift the battery up just enough to where this cover doesn't sit on it uh, all the way. It's going to make it difficult for those magnets to make contact. That's just, just the way it is. Because the front piece here, the battery is going to contact that front cutout. In the front won't lock down. So I had to remove the Velcro from down here. The one down here is fine as long as I don't have two two Velcros mated. It'll work. So how am I going to hold the battery in place without the Velcro? That's I went to the I went to the box. Some of the foam in the box that this thing came in, and I cut out a little block here, and you'll you'll see how. This, the shape of it has a purpose. Just in front of that battery, see the fingers where I cut the back so the wires can go? Because the front of the battery is right here on these fingers. I have this little piece here that will fit right down inside. So the, the wire on the battery can go over the top of it. The battery will sit down in there and it won't slide forward. I mean it won't slide aft. It'll hold the battery in place. There's room for the wire to go around. I left it raised on the edges here just for strength. So now the battery is held into position and it can't move. Now if I, I have one battery it's a little bit longer so I, I have a smaller block that I can slip into that next one there if I want to. But I'm going to try to keep the battery lengths to pretty much the same so I can just use this block here. That's the only modification that I have made to this airplane. You can do the hand grab points on the cowls any way you want to do it. Not on the cowls but on the battery cover. You can do that any way you want to. You can use a popsicle stick and make it look like an antenna. You can put a piece of tape down in there and have the tag end sticking out. Any way you want to do it. The reason I did it on the sides like I did, the two on the sides, because I didn't want to disrupt the air that would go into my little cutout for the, to my NACA duct. So there you have it guys. That's the whole build and the maiden flight. The next time I fly this thing, I promise I have a better video. <laughs> And I, I 
you have all of the uh, scoop that I have on how the flight went and the, the balance of the airplane and how it performs. I have to make some adjustments, of course, but I think it'll it'll be a really sweet flyer once I get all the all the little bugs worked out of it and get it dialed in. It's just a matter of getting it dialed in. And you have all of the uh, information about the build and the things you have to worry about or concern yourself with on the build. So guys, thanks for watching.